Hello class, my name is Kardash Kelsos Navarek and today I'm going to be talking about what it is biopsychology. Biopsychology is the science of the brain and nervous system and how they influence behavior. This is uh, dealing with the normal function of the brain as well with an injured brain or with poor physical condition. Other names of the field will be psychobiology and some fields of this science includes cognitive neuroscience, behavioral neuroscience, and neuropsychology. Other uh, areas of study have include uh, the physiological basis for motivator behavior such emotion, learning, memory, cognition, and mental disorders to add they are physical factors which directly affects the nervous system, including heredity, metabolism, hormones, disease, drug injection, injection and um, diet. Theories of the relationship between body and mind, they, they go back all the way to Aristotle, who he came with the idea and the conclusion that the two existed as aspects of the same entity, the mind being merely one of the body's functions. Uh, in the dualism of French, of the, of French uh, philosopher Rémy Descartes, uh, both the mind and the soul are spiritual entities existing separately from the mechanical operation of the, hu the human body. So. It is long and fascinating. So I'm gonna give you an example. What is an example of biopsychology? So for example, biopsychology examines topics such as how your, how your eyes are able to inform your brain and what you are what, what you're reading and how the brain interprets the inf this information and how your brain communicates with your hand to move anything right it is amazing or how it is that you are able to read something in, in one uh, language and if you speak another language then you have to uh, translate everything and make it right and sometimes it doesn't even come right but anyway so biology uh, biological psychology is um is concerned primarily uh with the relationship between psychological processes and the underlying psychological events, or in other words, the mind-body phenomenon. I will describe a few of the disciplines of neuroscience uh, that they are relevant to biopsychology, which is neuroanatomy, which is the study of the structure of the nervous system, uh, neurochemistry, which is the study of the chemical basis in neural activity, neuroendocrinology, is the body, I mean, is the study of the interactions between the nervous system and the endocrine system. Uh, neuropathology is the study of the nervous system uh, disorders. Neuropharmacology is the study of effects and drugs and neural, and, um, neural activity. Neural activity. Uh, neurophysiology is the study of the functions of the activities and nervous system. So, wow. Uh, physiological uh, psychology, physio, yeah, uh, is the division of, the, of biopsychology that studies the neural mechanisms of behavior through the direct manipulation and recording of the brain in control experiments. Uh, psychopharmacology, that is uh, a heavy one. Uh, is very similar to physiological psychology, except that this one focuses on the manipulation of the neural activity and the behavior with drugs. Uh, neuropsychology is the study of psychological effects and brain damage in human patients. Uh, psychophysiology is a division of biopsychology that studies the relationship between psychological activities and psychological uh, processes in human uh, subjects.
cognitive neuroscience. As we already know, this one is a, uh, the, the youngest version of biopsychology and that it is very, very strong as well. Um, it has a lot of researches to back it up. Uh, cognitive neuroscientists uh, study the neural basis of cognition, a term of general refers as higher intellectual processes, such thought, memory, attention, and complex perceptual process. So I'm going to be comparing and contrasting um, some of them. And um, I was able to find uh, cognitive um, neuroscience um, which we already know this one is the youngest version um, and um, on this one they are being using a lot which is uh, what, what we know with uh, CBT um, which is that identified thoughts basically in uh, uh, for instance in this moment right I mean we need to speak out about something on camera and the patient Start, starts developing this anxiety uh, about, you know, I have to come up with all these ideas in a short video. I don't know if I'm gonna make it right or not. I mean, you start getting all upset and all that yada yada. And uh, as a as a future therapist, um, a therapist, um, your 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 job will be to target what it is that you are feeling that way. I mean, what it is. I mean, it's not a big deal try to calm down the person and and uh, uh, you don't need drugs for this right you just need to uh, practice more read more and even if you messed up I mean what it's not the end of the era you know just relax you know um, and 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 the CBT is actually something that they they, they discover that is something that uh, is being very suspect, su successful in which it comes with uh, to cognitive techniques um, the other one that I want to compare in or, or contrast, or, it's about the use of drugs, which is biological uh, treatment, uh, antipsychotic drugs. In this case, I've been listening a lot about uh, the studies of people with uh, schizophrenia, right? People with schizophrenia, I mean, sometimes they start talking and they start listening to voices, and sometimes they think that... Uh, you are, I don't know, uh, I don't want to sound disrespectful, but I mean, probably you feel like aliens are talking to you and they're telling you what to do. And well, for this kind of uh, uh, mental illness, which is pretty serious and it has to be treated with a lot of amount of respect, uh, drugs, medication, it is, this therapy is something that it, it helps because it calms the person down and it helps them to continue their lives in in more regular way or normal way you want to we want to call it normal okay well this is it i hope that you were able to understand what i was trying to say um in my in my closing or in my conclusion of all this is that um wow it's wonderful to know about all these uh, sciences and um, uh, fi uh, fields and uh, it is it is important to understand all of this and um, thank you for having me my goodness eight minutes bye bye